Yeah. 411. Yeah. And all the latest tabloid bullshit. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. I got that juice. juice. No AP. She got that juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Wednesday. Rihanna is officially a billionaire. Uh, Forbes has reported that uh, she is now officially worth $1.7 billion, making her the highest paid female artist and the second highest paid female entertainer. Oprah, of course, is the first highest paid female entertainer who's uh, coming in at $2.7 billion. But uh, Riri, she's kind of got to catch up. She's doing really well. Uh, her net worth stems from 50% of her ownership stake in Fenty Beauty, which counts for around $1.4 billion. And uh, Forbes explains that uh, Fenty Beauty is currently worth $2.8 billion with no sign that the company is going to slow down anytime in the future. They're just doing so well. Her Savage uh, X Fenty lingerie company also makes up an additional $270 million, with Forbes reporting that she holds a 30% stake. Um, and here's something interesting. Jay-Z's Marcy Venture Partners investment firm also holds shares in the company as well. Um, now, Rihanna is the most successful beauty entrepreneur. Fenty Beauty, which is a 50-50 joint venture with French, re, French luxury goods conglomerate LVMH, Louis Vuitton, Moet, Hennessy. Uh, they launched in 2017 with the goal of inclusivity. And their products come in a diverse range of colors, foundation that's offered in 50 shades, including harder to find darker shades for women of color, and are also modeled in its advertising by an equally diverse group of people. I'm not sure if you just saw her latest collaboration with the curvy girls on the mics so you know rihanna does definitely reaches out to a broader spectrum of women and by 2018 fenty beauty was bringing in more than 550 million dollars in annual revenues beating out other celebrity founded brands like kylie jenner's kylie cosmetics and kim kardashian's kkw beauty rihanna is also one of the first brands that came out and said i want to speak to all of those different people and now she's got a billion dollar brand just a little girl from the islands i love it and actually speaking of billionaires french tycoon bernard arnault who owns lvmh tiffany and co and sephora is one once again, the richest person in the world after Jeff Bezos, um, his net worth fell by $13.9 billion in one day. Now, Arnold is worth uh, $195.8 billion, while Bezos dropped to $192.6 billion. Sounds like we're speaking like of like little tiny chump change, right? Like it's just insane, these numbers, right? How do you lose $13.9 billion in one day? Um, now, Bezos, he momentarily lost the title of the world's richest person on July 20th when his Blue Origin rocket launched him into space, but he lost the title again this week when Amazon stock fell by 7%, and that's how he lost that $13.9 billion in one day. Uh, T.I., who's been in Amsterdam living his best life? Well, at least he thought he was until he got locked up. Um, it's actually quite funny. He posted a video on his Instagram page saying, so I'm locked up now, laughing. Um, I'm obviously not supposed to have my phone. He explains how he was biking and a police ran into him, broke his rearview mirror, was not happy about that. But um, when he pulled over, T.I. didn't have his passport. So they invited him into the back of the cop car, which he said he obliged. Um, he joked that they arrested him without even handcuffing him. Uh, his next dilemma was that he had to pay bond, but they didn't take cash, even though he had stacks of cash. Um, just laughing the whole time, saying he was enjoying the moment and also enjoying experiencing the Amsterdam culture while being locked up. Obviously not that big of a deal, but it was quite funny to see how chill he was about the whole thing. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Wednesday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.